What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel and today we're here episode 20 for Madden 22 Pink Slips with the San Antonio Express and today we are kicking off year 3, season 3 with 3 games on the slate. We have week 1 against the Saints, I'll tell you right now, we are playing this game because you know, outside of the division, I'm starting to get a little bit tired of beating up on the same 3 teams, the Jags, Titans and Colts, but we also have that week 2 game against the Titans, week 3 game against the Jags, one of those games will sim, one of those games will play the most, but the gameplay is coming right away here against the new orleans saints uh what you missed well the last episode was the off season we're not really a team this is not really a series that like well the off season happens but we're not really building our squad through the off season uh we added a running back here in wang Wu, 95 speed 95 acceleration we got simmons in the draft at wide receiver we still are a little light at least in the wide receiver room uh, only four guys we got albert owen free agency uh, on the offensive line standpoint, we have the seal of the draft, our highest pick. We didn't have a first round pick because we fortunately stunk the bed and lost a five star spin the wheel. But our second round pick was, in my opinion, steal the draft. Hunter Windham, 75 hidden dev, going to anchor our offensive line this year. Um, I don't even know what other sign. We didn't make a lot of crazy signings. A little bit low key. We got Davion Nixon. We drafted Myers here. Uh, we got the white Lawrence Taylor, Dennis Gardeck. You know, like having him on the team. A little bit of a channel me. Like, those are the guys that I was signing in for HC. We drafted Banks, deaf linebacker here. But, like, guys, Hurst, who we drafted. But dudes that have, like, some sort of history on the channel. If they're there in free agency, it's not going to be an overpower signing. Like, we got goggles here, a kicker. Like, these are guys that I'm going to be looking to bring in. I don't actually want to sign, like, the best free agency or anything like that. Because I have no salary cap. There's no challenge. And there's no real glory anyways from uh, just signing the best players on free agency. So, we're not going to do that here in this series. Um... Let's look at the Saints. That's what we're doing. That's the last thing we can probably do here. We're gonna look at the New Orleans Saints. This is our game one. These are the players that potentially could be up for grabs. We are not touching that quarterback room. They got Zeke at running back. Eh, I like my guy better. Pittman and Galladay at wide receiver. Eh, that's not a great roster from the looks of things here. Uh, AVT on the offensive line could be interesting. 80 star dev. Okay. There's there's easily the the head the the, the top of the leaderboard in terms of players that we could potentially poach. Davenport's superstar, but I'm, I, I like my DNs. Rankins, they got Hunt here, young defensive tackles. Anyone with a dev trade here? Fairly. Okay, that guy could be okay. DeAndre uh, Farley, right? We're not making a Chris Fairley. I'm thinking about like that. Remember him from Auburn? Was that his name? Chris Fairley? Nick Fairley. We have DeAndre Farley. R.I.P. Chris Farley. And they also have Gilbert down here. Hidden dev. Okay, this is like a, that could be like, okay. I'm in. I'm interested. They got uh, McKinney, X Factor, uh, Patrick Queen could be a great linebacker for us. Put him on the top of the list. Trey White. They got Jonathan Jones, a couple Patreon players, Paid a Man, and Elon Musk. A Trey White. Okay. That could be an upgrade for us. We got Micah Hyde, John Johnson, 91. Andrew Combs is one of the Patreon players. 80 normal dev. Could be the first Patreon player that could be very interesting for us to bring in here. I kind of plays kind of built in plays like a linebacker, but I know strong safety is an area that we are not particularly strong at. That could be maybe one of the better moves we could potentially make. Andrew Combs from the New Orleans Saints. We'll keep an eye on that one. But definitely a lot of players up for grabs that are very interesting. Easy and easy to make a short list. So I'm gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk your off. I'm ready just to hop right in. Kind of remove that Super Bowl loss as quickly as possible. And the way you do that is by playing the Saints. And drop in. We got to get a five-star performance here. That's, there's no and, if, ands, or buts about it. That's the only way we're going to kind of forget about that ex-girlfriend that is a Super Bowl loss to Cam fucking Newton and Nick Chubb in the Super Bowl. One other cool thing that happened from the first practice session is Greg Newsom went up to an 85 slot. So I remember I was asking you guys, what are the best things that we should try to rock and roll with? And someone told me, that was it one step ahead? So we need it, right? One step ahead. Let's go. Defenders with this ability generally rack much faster. So anytime you get anything that is animation based, you want to do it. So Greg Newsom, there we go. He's going to be able to take his game to the next level. He had five picks last year. I want 10 picks this season. All right. They have very weak quarterback. Oh my God. I got it. I did not. I forgot. As much as I was not happy with Chase Young, I forgot we have Arden Key now. I, I didn't forget. Like, now that I'm actually out here, I'm like, oh, man. 
We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to make some. I didn't make enough of. This is this is unappropriate. Like, when teams play really really bad, I can justify this. Oh, let's go. C.J. Anderson don't give a shit. But when like you know the whole like oh lady look I like look Green Bay Packers against the New Orleans Saints. They looked unprepared week one of the NFL season. Aaron Rodgers was benched. That's what happened here. I did not set my depth chart because I was so eager just to go. My team was unprepared. So you have, you know, instead of OA coming off the edge, we're going to have sometimes there's going to be Arden Key. It's going to, ah, uh, it's not what we want. But that's what happens, man. We rush things and we're unprepared and we're trying to, trying to be like real life. Things like this happen. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There we go. PBU. We're not losing to Jimmy Garoppolo. We lost to one shitty overrated quarterback in Cam Newton. I'm not doing that again. Back-to-back -back game plays. Don't think so. So a couple runs here. Ooh, that's good tackling. We haven't, you know, something that is interesting, at least for this season, is we got, man, we got Jamar Chase. I feel like that he hasn't really had... A big uh, coming out party, if you will. Like, since he's been on our squad. There hasn't been, like, a game that Jamar Chase has taken over. Who's AC4? Welcome, you know. I'm trying to get into YouTube. What should I do? Should I do live commentaries? Or should I do, like, record the gameplay and then just talk over it after? That's what happens sometimes when you do live commentary. I think that does a... People, are, like, my buddies are like, how do you... How do you do this? Like, I guess I guess it could be kind of hard. And I've actually had some people that like, support the Patreon stuff. are like, you do live comms for everything? It's like, yeah, I just do it live. But also, there's a level of, like, I'm trying to talk and formulate sentences while I'm trying to play. That Like, maybe there's some distractions there. Added difficulty. That was still a garbage throw. I'm not trying to justify how bad that throw was. But there we go. That's our mulligan. If you know anything about me, if you've watched or support my channel, I got to get that first interception out of the way. Break the seal. My gameplay sucked when I'm like two or three games in the season with no picks because I'm trying to think about that in the back of my head. Can't throw an interception. You get that one pick out of the way, who gives a shit? Let's be aggressive. Let's attack. Let's attack. Let's attack. Let's go. Get on the oh, I'm so bad on the sticks, but let's go, John Ross. Move the chains. I mean, this I think we're this is the same play we just hit deep. We're going for it again. Okay. You know? Okay. Third and six got the field here. Oh way. Coming off the edge. We get a lot. Fuck me. Who's that? David Moore does not beat CJ Anderson like that. Nor does Jimmy Garoppolo throw that pretty of a deep ball. Alright, Ben, don't break, baby. We got the maniac, Darius Leonard here. Oh, yeah. That's a quitty pay back there, man. Just roll into his knees. And we hope to a field goal attempt. Let's go. Oh, man. Is this going to be like the John Ross, you can't stop, remember me party? This is going to be the John Ross, remember me game. That's a tough catch. Technically, that, that was quadruple coverage. It was four guys in the area. What about Quest, man? Come on. The leading receiver in the NFL a year ago has yet to get a target here. Oh, uh, there's his touchdown. There's his touchdown. There we go. Back on, I mean, there's there's no way. My, you know, unless there's some sort of truth that my Achilles heel with pink slips is losing to shitty quarterbacks, be it Cam Newton in the Super Bowl, now Jimmy Garoppolo, we should, they shouldn't be able to keep pace with us. Let's go, Quez. Fight for it, buddy. Fight for it, man! That was your tutty. Now, you know, 
What do we do when we're on the one yard line? Well, there's only one thing you can do. Let's find number 15. Tell him, dust his helmet off. Get on out there, because you're getting a touchdown. And he knows what time it is. It's Tebow time. What a TFL away. Unstoppable. He's like kind of like the Quez Watt. I mean, it's a little less obvious because Owe had the insane combine and stuff like that. But I would say from a stat standpoint, guy that plays way better than the rating, it's definitely Owe. There we go. Back to back plays Odave Owe. Okay, we're going blitz here. Could bite us in the ass if we don't get home. But I also feel like we'd get home. Incomplete pass. Give me the ball back. Third and eight, great time to give Jamar Chase. Like we're gonna trust him here. Come on. Jesus. Okay, Jimmy G. Higby gets the score. Interesting. This is gonna be a very interesting second half, especially if I keep fucking up with the turnovers. Oh, let's go. Oh. Not great for pink slip scoring, but... Oh, here comes Owe. He, see... he felt that. Oh, no! Man, King Holiday's good man. He sucks in real life now with the Giants, but he's good man. He's made some really good plays here today. Why is... Okay, this... my coach just keeps calling this play. Very unprepared. They're just like, all right, we got four plays. It's like I'm watching Chip Kelly here. But all these players are designed to let John Ross do this. And this is like a, the John Ross money play. We're going to take it all day long because it's just going to keep feeding our pink slip scoring. And I'm a guy that just calls what the coach wants me to run. Coach wants me to run some read option with Mac Jones. I'll do it. But he wants us to run slants or whatever the fuck that play is. We'll just call that the John Ross touchdown play. I'm going to run it. Because, like, Jamar Chase has way better stats than Quez Watkins. But he's not doing that. He's not doing what Quez Watkins can do. Oh, there's a nice little sack. Ooh, pick it up. Who got that sack? Is that Quiddy Pay? I don't know who got that, but I appreciate you. Ashawn Robinson? Who's 91? Can I get another angle here, please? Oh, it is. Who else? Who else? Hey, there we go. Away. Let's go, baby. End this game. Let's end it. Hey. Let's go. Oh, there's go. I think there's going to be a pink scoring right here. I think this guy that one run in garbage time. This guy put Najee over 100 yards. Half star. I feel like I gotta take a shot here. It's pinks. We're in the we're in the element of like, we gotta avenge. Let's get something to Jamar. We gotta avenge that that Super Bowl loss with a five star. This could be another interception, which would be annoying. We don't lose any points for interceptions. I wanna try to get Jamar Chase a tutty. Just give him a nice catch. There's, some, there's a confidence boost right there. That's a win. That's a win for Jamar Chase. And that was great throw power after getting hit by Mac Jones. 45-25. We kicked the shit out of the Saints. Let's calculate this star rating. That day at the office, if you were a Saints fan, and we won the game, we won by 14. So that's one and a half stars just from the result. Looking at our players, I mean, it was gaudy performance here. Mac Jones gets a half star for going over 300 yards. He gets a half star for going over three touchdowns. One titty. One, you know, one little titty. One titty. Away from having, uh, you know, full two, like, you know, six touchdowns. It's double. You double. But one star for Mac Jones. I'm happy with it. A half star for Najee going over 100 yards. Big Don Ross. Let's go. He's back. 
232 receiving yards, two touchdowns. That is a star and a half for John Ross. Buck 79 and three touchdowns for Quez Watkins is a full star. We have on the defensive side, look at this from Owe. Six TFLs, which gives him one full star off TFLs because three TFLs equals a half. He has three and a half sacks, which is also where they have stars. So one and a half stars for Owe. We have the interception from Greg Newsom. That is a half star. So that's one, two, three, four, five. A lot of stars. It's a five star. We're spinning the wheel. All right. So here's where things get kind of messy. My cat muted my mic and I was out of the room. So uh, I'm going to have to re narrate over this. So we spun the wheel. We got pink special, which is plus speed, plus everything like that. Before we even got into the pink special, though, from the last episode, I asked you guys who our team captain should be. Here was the suggestion, and ultimately the big change was switching the captaincy off Lattimore and giving Quez Watkins his much-needed captaincy spot. So for the pink special, we're adding plus three throw power here to Mac Jones. And for the speed, I figured, eh, why not, man? He's a brand-new team captain. Let's hook up Quez Watkins. Let's make him even that much more overpowered. If there's one guy that's kind of becoming a cult favorite, let's it's it's Quest. And here's our upgrade. Here's our trade from beating the Saints. We're going to be sending Jonah Jackson over for Vera Tucker. Uh, it's a pretty clean sweep, automatic, easy upgrade in the offense. We're going to use a plus zero here to essentially get a dev trade on a D tackle. And the last trade is sending Lattimore for the superstar X Factor, Trey White. Uh, and off of that, also performance and more housekeeping, Mac Jones and Owe got player of the week performances. So it's plus two for each little attribute. That is specific to the position. So here's a couple plus two for Mac Jones and a plus two for Block Shed on Odafe Owe. Easily the most annoying thing to have to re-narrate that I'm just going to cut to the end because this game here was just a play the moments game. Was against the Tennessee Titans in game two of the Sim. And as you can see by the top there, 24-17 was very close. But when it all is said and done, we got the victory. So for the scoring here, we won the game. It was a divisional victory. So that is two stars right off the gate. Looking at our player performances, nothing from Mac Jones, but Najee Harris going over 100 yards is a half star. Nothing for our receivers, unfortunately. Good game from Quez. But on the defensive side of the ball, the hottest player on the defensive side of the ball in the NFL, Owe, with his two sacks, gets us a half star. And newcomer to the squad, Tredavious White, got an interception in his debut game. That is also worth a half star, so you add it all up, you have it. It is a plus four upgrade. It's two, three, three and a half stars. You have it, you round up. It's a plus two star, plus four upgrade. Does that make sense? It's a plus four upgrade. So for our plus four upgrade, I'm only going to use plus three. If you've been watching the games, you see Voson Joseph. He kind of gets picked on on the defense, plays a lot of snaps for us as our second middle linebacker. He is a 68 normal dev. And I'm going to send him for a random drafted player here, Dion Thompson, who is a 71 hidden dev. Just offers a whole lot more upside to get on the field. Great looking athlete. Just... Pretty much similar skill set, just better than Voshan in every single way. So the defense getting a boost here. And who knows what the dev trade is? Maybe it's an X Factor. So now it's the time for the final game of the episode against the 1-1 one one Jacksonville Jaguars. And this one here is straight up Simmons. There's a preview of what the Jags are working with. I mean, I, I'm still familiar with the roster. I don't know if you they got Saquon, DJ Moore, Shaq Barrett. I mean, that, it is the Saquon Barkley show when you're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. They got P.L. Mullins just waiting for an injury to happen. And it's a torrential downpour in San Antonio. Home fans don't want to send them on happy, you know, unhappy. You want them to be just ecstatic. And there we go. 7-7, seven, seven, tying this one up. Playing a lot of this second quarter in the Jags territory here. Getting the touchdown and taking up a whole other clock. Being able to chew it away with Najee Harris. A strong run game. And we're able to get a touchdown there to end the first half. 21-10. Feeling pretty confident here, actually. Now, we're going to be able to see this one out. But you never know. We're not getting a lot of points here. Third quarter, they kept us out of the end zone. They kick a field goal. Still a one-score game. But there's most likely the dagger. A quick turnover as well for the Jags. Any points there could seal it. We didn't get anything. But at least we start the season 3-0. Three, three you know. Let's calculate this rating there. Uh, we won the game. and It was a divisional victory. So that's two stars. We had the turnover battle, which is worth a half star. But then looking at the player stats, nothing for Mac Jones. Nothing for Najee Harris. Nothing for our receivers. Even though Quez Watkins, another just outstanding performance. On the defense side of the ball, 13 tackles. Darius Leonard, two TFLs for pay. Another half sack for Owe. We had the one interception for Newsom, his second of the year, which is a half star. But that is it. It's a three-star performance. Have it. Round it up. Another plus four upgrading coming.
And to close this episode out with that plus, I loved, I, I think one of my favorite things about this series is me letting you guys decide what we go. There was only one plus four on the entirety of this squad. And, uh, you know, I, I had my options. So we have Wang Wu, 72, uh, running back, normal. And I had the option of either Kenny Gainwell, who's 76 normal, or P.L. Mullins, who's 76 normal. And I think while we're in the spirit of adding all channel memes to the squad, we'll be using all of that plus four to bring in P. Mullins. Because it's kind of a lateral move, though, we are also going to be sending them back, at least from their original in real life roster, C.J. Henderson, who's an 85 star. And we're going to be getting back a little bit of, uh, you know, you know, hot potato here with Pat Sertain because he was on our squad. Then we've actually eventually lost him to Jack. But we're going to take that plus zero, get the up tray, uh, upgrade from a dev trait. So we're getting 85 star, getting back an 85 superstar. Oh, wait, how much a year is he? Two years younger? He's 23. CJ Henderson's 25. So yeah, just getting a younger, a little bit better player. And the legendary P.L. Mullins. I mean, he's not going to play behind Najee Harris. I mean, there could be an injury though. But P.L. Mullins is back on the champ. And with that, that'll do it for me today, fellas. That is a 3-0 start to the season. The Super Bowl Redemption Tour. No hiccups. We didn't hit any potholes in the road. We are looking golden. The next episode, we do have the Colts, who actually look pretty crappy. The Jets and the Kansas City Chiefs. So especially with between the Jets and the Chiefs, two very talented rosters. There are going to be some big-time players up for grabs. I don't really know what we have to say. I mean, I guess we did add Trey White. Like, should Trey White maybe take one of those capsi spots, be it from Darius Leonard, or maybe we give it from Newsom up to Trey White? I think that that's maybe the only discussion that really needs to be had because he is our best player, and he's, I guess, kind of a better version of Newsom, even though there's obviously a discrepancy there in age just a little bit. But other than that, I mean, hey, easy wins, easy kind of automatic upgrades, if you will, and it doesn't start a whole lot better than that. So we will be back tomorrow with a brand-new rebuild and then it would be probably, what's the day here, Saturday, when there'll be a new episode of Pink Slip. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you very much for clicking on the video and continuing to support the channel. I very much appreciate it. As always, first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment or a like. Either one of those helps with my videos on the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys back here on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.